What's up guys, my name is Johnny Harris. I'm a junior at Salisbury University. I'm a communication or financial communications major. Uh, we're out here on the salt, salt marsh today. We're chasing some black ducks, some other puddle ducks around. Um, we took two boats out here, got down on one small one to get a little skinny, and uh, we're hoping to have a good morning. So we'll go out there and see what happens. All right, you might need a breather. Oh, you hit a hole or what? That's what we call improvising, Adrian. Oh, over the place. And plus the black guys, they're going to do with everyone. I'll leave right there. I don't want to have a red one. It's decoy bag. <laughs> what decoy bag? Exactly. Which one's yours? The dive bomb one? Yeah, huh? The only one in the kit. Oh, yeah. Do you even have dive bombs? Yes. This way, you can see what we're about to do. Shit, I ain't got you got no tread on your tires. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just take that interview down. <laughs> and, uh, I know, this is all part of it. This is staying. <laughs> Bro, that thing's got like, I'll bet you like 15,000 people already watched. I'm not reposting that. I'm just going to let you know. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> Who wants to get a rundown of what's happening? Nope. No, 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 Come on. Caleb, do it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's going on, guys? Um, this is what we get for changing our plan at 4 o'clock in the morning at the gas station. Uh, we're sitting here on the marsh. We've seen two ducks this morning. Um, nothing has uh, even looked at us with that being said. We're going to pull out of here, regroup, and uh, try and figure something out for this afternoon. We got a, found a goose feed the other night we're going to work on and then uh, get ready for the morning. So hang around. It's uh, Hopefully it'll get better. God, I love Maryland. I don't know. They just never came back again. <laughs> Happens all the time. God, I want to go back to North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> you got lucky on that one, bro. Pass the gear, Mino. You can just hand, you can keep everything on. Yeah, you can leave that in here, that's fine. I'm not, I won't do anything. Just don't forget. No, I need your bag, I need my gloves. <laughs>
I would put it on the top of that hill. Uh, no, because you don't want light on the top of the hill. You don't want them looking at you when they're light. Were they on top of the hill or were they in the bottom? No, they're in the valley. Yeah, I think the, then I would put it in with the, uh, like, with those dirt clumps. I mean, that would look as natural as possible. What's up guys, we're back out here for the evening hunt. We're sitting on a goose field tonight. Uh, we got a couple extra guys with us uh, from the crew of Lock-In Productions. Uh, my dad and then Kyle and Jeremy. So we got a few extra guns. Uh, I think we got eight total maybe. But uh, so here the limit of geese is one during regular season. So you can only shoot one bird per person. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip out. So four guys, four or five guys are gonna go. They're gonna shoot their bird and then we're gonna flip and the next group of guys are gonna go. Just to kind of make it fun and hopefully get be able to see a couple more passes from the bird. So stay tuned, should be a good one. Been a pretty good feed in here, so we'll see. Why don't you run us through your lanyard? Oh my god, no, actually I can't say that. Uh, I have the uh, the villain by Havoc. Actually, I gotta stand up. I look like a fat loser right here. <laughs> so uh, most importantly, we got the phone and Red Bull, personal holders. And then I blow the uh, 747 Havoc for geese. I blow the villain, all wood. This is my favorite to blow ducks. And the, uh, um, I like this one too. Forget what's this one called? That's the, rogue. the rogue. And then I just have a little Havoc wood duck call that we use in, in little wood holes. Uh, I usually have a whistle on, but it fell off in the mud the other day. And uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of what we roll roll with. <laughs> Going dead away. They're undercover, baby. What were they doing? Dude, did the they trees? come through the trees? Yes, they did. Oh, they were. Oh. What? Oh, they're they were gonna go plotting. snitch now. Don't go over there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, there's a pair walking in the woods right there. Do you need your gun Crazy. That is the greatest this I have ever cool. seen. You ever seen did they seriously like just walk out of the woods? They they walked they out right by the four wheeler and was like right oh, in front no. of the four wheeler. <laughs> no way. Just hopped up. I thought there were ducks when I first saw them. I fucking There's no way those things just oh walked God. right through yeah. the trees. <laughs> <laughs> they just like faced over to the dirt. What is there like a corn pile? <laughs> <laughs> what the that was crazy. <laughs> They must be scooping out nesting areas or something. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> I ain't <laughs> never seen a goose come out of the woods. Dude, I call Well, we got burned again. I'm sitting here in the blind. We're about to start picking up. Uh, I think legal's over in like four minutes. But uh, yeah, the geese were in here this morning. They decided not to come back tonight. So uh, yeah, it's only up from here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what we did do today, even though uh, you know we may not have shot very many, but it's all good. We're all having a good time. So I don't know, it's tough hunting. It's the end of the season, it's getting harder and harder. You gotta finish out these last couple of days strong. And, Hope for the best, so just make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.